Howdy everyone, and welcome back to Cosmic Breakdown, the series where we analyze the game and level the playing field with knowledge. Today we're looking at one of the spring 2017 artillery bots, Amelia Leopold. We're going to take a quick dive into her mechanics, her tool set, her role, and what I think of the bot. So first up, what does she have on her? She has a 37 force charge bazooka with 100 ammo, 380 range, 470 speed, and 500 interval. At max lock-on, it takes about 0.8 seconds to hit the target. While the Zooka is a little clunky at first, it can definitely dunk errors whenever you really need it. The charge mechanic definitely does take a little getting used to if you're new to it, but it definitely does not hinder the bot in any way. In fact, it's almost a benefit. Next up, we have our 6 Force Heat Gatlings. They have about 1000 ammo, which shoots twice per shot, 250 range, 400 speed, 200 interval. At max lock-on, it takes about a whole second to hit the target. If you overrange it by ult firing into it from the Zooka, it takes about 0.6 seconds to hit the target, so keep that in mind. The primary purpose of these Heat Gatlings is to push enemies around and push them off you if they get too close. Her Heat Gatlings are a lot like Nora's push rifles, except the projectiles are ratioed more around Heat Gatlings. I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, but there's a little bit of blast involved, not much to hit. 30% more or something like that on airs, but it definitely doesn't get tough reduced as fast as a completely shell based weapon would. As for sub weapons, she has a multi step where she throws grenades, 15 force, 30 ammo, 300 range, 340 speed, 500 interval. They take about a ninth of a second to hit at max range. The thing about these grenades is that on the description it says it cancels the opponent's wonder bit, but after Shido, Ramiko, and myself plus CXM tested, they don't seem to do anything towards the enemy's wonder bit. In fact, they seem to only cancel your own. So there might be a translation error on CS's part. That function aside, what they do is when you do a multi-step, it'll put a grenade on the enemy with the time charge, and after about a second, second and a half, it'll go off. It will put the enemy under gold veil and push him back at about maybe 200, 400 range, friction depending, map depending. I mostly don't use that feature of the grenades, I use it to cancel out of my turret and if it happens to connect with the enemy, that's a nice bonus, but I don't count on it. It's not the worst evasive kind of sub weapon I've ever used, but it's also not the best either. And lastly we have her turret mode. Her turret mode has 20 ammo and the rest of these stats don't really matter. Now quite a few comments about the turret mode. So what her turret mode is supposed to do is bring out 4 shield wonderbit entities and two heat rifle entities. These heat rifle entities have a slight push to them, a lot like her heat gatlings. The unfortunate thing about these heat rifles is that they don't do all that much damage and they don't fire nearly frequently enough to get enemies off of you. Despite being awful at shooting things, they are actually really good at telling you when something is way too close to your comfort zone. I find myself shooting at someone and then the turrets freak out, I go to look at what the turrets are freaking out about and then there's a guy there and I end up shooting him instead. So they're more of a warning system than they are an actual weapon. The shields have one good upside and one really, really bad downside. They parry melee attacks when someone hits them, but they are very squishy. I feel like they have somewhere around between 60 health and 100 health. I don't feel like scrubbing through hours of footage just to do math and figure out exactly how much health they have, but needless to say, I've seen quite a few things one-shot them to death. These shields are your lifeline though. If a melee gets too close, it's the only thing keeping them off of you if your team isn't around. And if someone is shooting at you, they're the first line of defense to soak those shots. Unfortunately, if they go down and your heat guns go down, your turret goes down. And being cancelled early out of your turret doesn't reset your cooldown, which is another issue with your turret form. Once you're in turret form, you are committed. That cooldown feels like about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. It is very long. I can't name how many times I've been blown out of turret mode and I had to fly away because the cooldown was still there. She's not particularly helpless outside of turret mode, but she definitely shines a lot more while in turret mode. And that's the bread and butter of her function, staying in turret mode as long as possible, wherever you're needed. But man, this turret mode is buggy as shit. Sometimes you'll only get your wonder bit pieces, sometimes you'll only get your turret, no wonder bit, and no crimson veil, which you're supposed to have. And you can't use it if you're more than an inch off the ground. And sometimes if you hit the ground and you hit it too early, you're still not going to get your turret. I know this is a new feature for Cyberstep, but man, what have we been paying them for for 8 years? So where does Amelia belong with her tools? My vote is she's a line keeper. What I mean by that is she's particularly good at holding a spot, but she's not very good at moving that spot very frequently. 
since again, when you're in turret mode, you're super invested in turret mode. So when you have turret up, you have to really make sure you want that spot. For example, right here, I put my turret down way too far back from the enemy and I'm not helping at all. And I have to wait for my cooldown to sell before I can move again, or else I'm going to get where they need me, but I won't have my turret. And Amelia is not a cheap bot. I, I don't want to go down. That's 1460 cost without high kappa. No thank you. Another role she is good at is support damage. What I mean by that is sometimes, let's say someone is meleeing another bot, and you need to help your teammate burn that bot down quickly before reinforcements arrive. That's another good place where Amelia comes in. She's not going very far very fast, but she's pretty good at laying down a good wall of lead wherever it's needed. On top of that, let's say there's like hippos or shields, etc. on the field. Her toolset does do a nice bit of damage, but it's not a primary damage kind of toolset, unlike let's say Homura or your alpha arts. So instead, you can focus on clearing the field of objects so your team has no problems locking onto the other team. Another quirk about Amelia, though, is that when she locks onto something, she gets a hate boner for whatever she's locked onto. It's really hard to get her to stop locking onto a specific bot or a specific target. Like, I spun my screen around like 180 degrees, she will still look at whoever she's locked onto. I don't know what it is about her, but Jesus, that lock-on cone. Alright, so that's what she carries, and that's what she does. So, what does it cost to get her running in the arena? While she's not the hardest bot to build, I was able to pull off 650 HP with 38 tech, 31 fly. I did used to have 675 HP, but I decided to play Fashion Break and uh, put the beret and cigar on her. I can imagine if you EX tune her, you could probably reach about something like 750 HP after armor drive. But overall, if I had to rate her upfront investment cost from A to F, I would give it a B. Not the easiest thing to build, but it's not the hardest either. You could probably also do something like pump tons of HP, tech, and tough into her. I didn't want to do that because I know the turrets will go down and I want to be able to get away as fast as possible to somewhere safer. But hey, if you got the cash and you want to make a 1900 cost boat anchor, hey, whatever. Not my materials. Things I would recommend her grabbing is definitely armor cart. She doesn't move enough to really merit using boost drive, and none of her functions seems to benefit from sword drive. So, armor it is. I gave her main Zooka double great rapid betas to cut down the time to hit max lock on. Seems to work pretty well for me. It's about half a second before the projectile hits at max lock on range, and it'll hit before she's finished saying her line about fire and lock on, which I do love those lines, I must say. I've also given her double heat gats one double great rapid beta as well. I didn't want to go double because I didn't want to trade up HP for more bullet speed. But the 460 speed on top of the 380 range from the Zooka really helps nail faraway targets. I also suggest investing in single shooter and still shooter. Still shooter because her turret mode does benefit. She doesn't move. She will always get still shooter whenever she's shooting. And single shooter because while you can alpha with her, it's really expensive to do that and you're cutting away your HP and it's just a fucking mess in the end. You're better off just carrying handhelds and using each weapon individually as opposed to trying to alpha things out. I did give my Amelia Wonder Balancer. I don't know if it's really benefiting or not. I might be getting an extra 20 or 10 HP on the Wonder Bits, but uh, you might be able to skip that. It doesn't seem to benefit her all that entirely much. I didn't test going zero strength on a Wonder Bit either. I just didn't have the right kind of tunes that would do it, since I don't have too many high fly betas on here, but if someone has information on zero strength, wonder bit, Amelia, let me know. So, would I roll for her? Would I wait to get her? Or would I ochre her instantly? My vote? You can probably wait. There are a lot of artillery options out there. You can antline with he Catling, you can Homura, there's, you can, she has a nice gimmick. She has a neat gimmick, but it's not worth crucifying her wallet to get her. She definitely has her merits and her downsides, and she's not the worst bot out there, but I'm not entirely sure if she's worth 1460 cost of a bot. Despite all that, oh, she is fun as hell. Also, as a last note, I hate fucking painting her. Uh, she has this thing where if you were trying to paint her turret, you can't see the polygons for it. So you, you're blind painting, like just trying to get these stripes on mine, it's a pain in the ass. It cost me 9,000 UC. It's a paint job! 9,000 UC, that's a fucking... You see Gara roll. Oh. And her sheets are fucking gigantic. Well, okay, just one sheet. It's her leg sheets, but that's that's just you know one of those things. 
So yeah, that wraps up this Cosmic Breakdown. I am next, and see you next video.